put one up. Yay! Happy Hi, Monday, everybody. Friends. How's it going? Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? That's the best oh, ever. She's, oh, my <laughs> gosh. I forget. When I ask her, she's just Twitterpated. She talks about it. Jeff. She's in love. I'm in love. His name is Gene. His name is Gene. <laughs> so, um, happy Monday, everybody. My name is Amy. I'm this Michelle. Is Michelle. And we are here to show you one of our brand new stencil designs that we're kind of excited about. We're going to show you how to use it on a lot of different projects. It's going to be one of your favorites, I promise, it if you be. don't already have it. It will be. So, but also I want to put in a shout out because we're going to put a link on this Facebook Live. We just told you last week about this new thing that we're doing, and I am so excited about it. I really, um, it has been something that's just kind of on my heart. It's been on my heart now for months, and how much we need to be able to connect mm. Yes. as women. Sorry, guys, not meaning to keep you out here, but this is, this is for women. It's humans. Um, so we are wanting to be able to create these virtual workshops that, hey, Rebecca, that these virtual workshops that we can come together and learn how to make something, have a craft that we do, and then have breakouts, guys, that you will have different groups. There'll be groups of 12 women that will become your crafting tribe. Yeah. And y'all are going to be talking and visiting and doing your craft. And then you're going to have questions that you're going to talk about. This first one that we're doing, we're talking about friendships. We're going to be talking about why friendships are so hard for women. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about why we are so lonely. Why we are this incredibly busy group of people. But yet we are so lonely. Mm -hmm. Because we, we are, we're the ones doing it all for everybody. But yet we've got, we need our soul met. And we need female friendships. There's no way that we can be there for our children, for our husbands, for people that we serve, whatever it is, if we don't have sweet, meaningful friendships yeah. with women. Yeah. So we know that everybody is still in COVID and it's even harder to be able to get out. So we are going to put together these groups, these Zoom groups, and we're going to be having conversation and we're going to be crafting and it's going to be awesome. And we're doing it for the next three months. We may do it longer. But this is great for your life group, for your gather. So it, grab a neighbor. Grab, maybe grab somebody that you know that's just hurting, that needs to be able to connect mm. with. And I'm going to have, I'm going to get as many friends um, and my kids and everything involved in this so we can do this together because I think it's going to be a very, very sweet time. Yeah. And I don't know if y'all heard me say this, but on Friday, we have, a, we have an entire women's group, a church that is going to have their women's ministry that's going to be a part of this. I love it. So, well, hey, Avi from Canada. Love you guys. We are, um, we are we're working. Matter of fact, I have a call with DHL this afternoon um, because we have. Because <laughs> we're working on we international We have so many shipping. international shipping, international people. So, but this virtual workshop is so cool because this comes with 10 scripture cards. And they're, they're so They're all different. Beautiful. Look at this. It comes with 10 of these scripture cards. And that we're going to be doing these. They're all different. Now, the, the easel that this comes on, guys, is really beautiful. It's, it's solid heavy. brass. It's very, very heavy. It has um, all the adjustable things on it. So that way they can close up. And it's fairly large. It and is. And so because these cards are 10 by 10. Yeah. They're big. They're beautiful. So it's something, too, you could put on your entry hall. You can put on something in your home. But it's... It's taking God's word and making it applicable, yeah. but also it's about you enjoying the bragging rights from They're creating gorgeous. really beautiful work. So I promise it's, it's a deal. It's a great workshop, but it's also a great to connect. And then that way, that group that you connect with, y'all are having great, meaningful conversations because it's two hours long on February 11th from seven to nine central standard time. Love so it. we want you to be Love a part. This. And, um, so uh, the link is here as we're talking, so that way you can join this and be a part. Grab some girlfriends, tell them to do that with you. And then Michelle and I are going to introduce a new stencil design today. She's, she's holding up this baby onesie because I, I was like, what, what do you want to show? Because I have she's all like, things baby on my mind. My cousin's pregnant, and I'm super excited, and I can't wait. <laughs> You know, it gets exciting. You think about in the spring, a lot of people start saying, I'm expecting. I've just noticed that on Facebook. A, a lot of our friends, yes. our mutual friends, she's like, did you see? And I'm like, did you see? Yes, we have a maker. all sweet friends are having babies. 
We have a maker. Her name is April. Congratulations. If We're you so see excited this. for We're you. We're so friends. excited. Flip your camera. Flip your camera. Okay. Is it too I late? Am... No. Hold on. We're going to see if we can do this. Thank you for telling us. Hi, friends. It's always, we, it feels weird to go backwards. Whoops, there's my fingers. Because that's what happens when you flip the camera. <laughs> All right, so does that help? Just a little bit Yay. better. So that way, hold on. Let me do this again. So I'll hold this back up. Is that better? Was it backwards so before? The words, it. just the words were. Oh, okay. So that way you can see these. Just flips your words. Gosh, they're pretty. Yes. So, so, they're so beautiful. But this, you'll be painting them in the workshop. So... That have they seen one that's not painted to see that they have a template? There's they don't one. have to. You don't have to come up with a design on your own. Oh no, we're going to go. Up, we're going to go over beautiful. all of this with you. There, it looks like beforehand. Mm -hmm. They're then, so beautiful. Of course, beautiful. this is what it looks like afterwards. You know, if you didn't want to put them on the easel, you could also frame these. Absolutely, these would be gorgeous framed. They like, would be. That's a piece beard. of art. That's a muraled wall. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when you do the collage walls with all of the different. Yeah, a gallery, oh, like a gallery. This so would be pretty. really, really beautiful. Promise, they're just exquisite. They really are. Okay, so um, how do we get that to go away so we can see their comments now? Okay, Ta there you go. Okay, all right. It takes a village. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> Or you um, just punch the screen until something happens. You're in the grocery happens. line. You know, we talk about this. Um, I love that you're multitasking. Most women do multitask. Yeah, we That's do. part of our, isn't that, a prover isn't that in Proverbs 31? You shall be a multitasker. <laughs> Not exactly, um, but she does a lot. But the cool thing about it is, when I, I think about that time we made that t-shirt, and um, to have Waymaker and the mm. t-shirt in the, in the back, where I somebody's standing behind it. you to say, what does that mean? And to be able to use an opportunity to be able to share mm -hmm. when I'm um, not so not as much anymore because of being in the grocery store. I like to get in and get out, and I'm doing and hand out. sanitizer the whole way. So yes, um, I hear you. All right, guys. So we're going to show you this brand new stencil design. We have so many new stencils coming out. Y'all are going to love them. You're going to love, 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 love. If you are, um, if you're a maker. You'll be getting the um, email blast. We'll be doing yes. our newsletter on Wednesday, and you'll see all the new stuff. A lot of the new designs. Gosh, there's, oh, I am so bad. It's like Christmas. I get I wanna... to play in them today. Are you jealous? Can, can <laughs> go get it. Do you want to share? Yes, I'm going to show you it. one. I'm going to show you one. I can't stand it. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Marty and Jamie and them are going, what? Amy's going live? She's showing them stuff. Just apologize to them live. I'm going to apologize to you right now, Marty. Sorry. But this is just one. This has been a stencil. Look at this. This was a transfer. And and I had a lot of people that said... Our best-selling transfer. Like, y'all yes. love this transfer, yes. and so do we. Look, this is a brand-new stencil. Do you now love you it? you can do it any color you want. This, like, <laughs> this... Look at this. Is this the best-looking... Look at that. If you didn't see that before... Um, if you didn't see this before... In our as, as far as our transfers, mm -hmm. we've made this into a stencil, and so you have now options on how Marty. You Marty, you're this. too funny. I know they're so great. So don't be mad at me. So anyway, <laughs> look at this. I I told Michelle. I said you watch. This will be one of the best selling stencils I we've ever had because this is going to be so great to be able to put on furniture. Uh huh. Project. I mean. I, I just love it. I, I think the possibilities are truly endless. Oh, they really are, and. Anyway, I mean, pillows, the whole nine yards. You know, y'all love, really we see you paint, and you love to do that inside, like, arm of the drawer. Yes. This. Oh, oh my gosh. I would do this all over the outside. Oh, I would, too. So, anyway. Oh, we just... We can't help it. No. February is going to be a huge, <laughs> huge month. There are so many new introductions, so many new designs, so many new products. You're just going to die. You're just going to... It's so much fun. All right, so, but we've got this... Adorable. We've got Mother's Day coming up. We do. We've got Father's Day coming up. We've got... Um, babies being born. Babies being born. <laughs> and this stencil is absolutely the cutest. It's perfect for all so of those things. It is a two-pack. Throwing stuff. And um, I'm, getting, I'm getting ready to do this on a frame. Yes. Because I want to do a little picture clip. Because the vision of this, in doing this stencil was I wanted to be able to have on the picture frame, my, my favorite, favorite people call me and then say, mom, dad, nana, grandpa, grandma, whatever. 
So that way it's just so cute to have that on mm -hmm. one side and then do the clip on the other. Yes. So that's part of, um, hey Cindy from Illinois. That's part of what that is for and why that's so cool. But then the second page of this, of course, blessed beyond measure. Period. Period. Done. Like Goes what, on everything. What a great coffee mug that is. But this, and also, you are my sunshine. So how cute is it? Now Michelle's gonna show you. Is this the cutest onesie ever? Ever, ever. We love it. So how, as a rule, um, where, where's the best place to get onesies? Honestly, if you want to just work on white Gerber onesies, Amazon, Walmart, Target, they're okay. going to be your easy places. Okay. If you want colors, those places as well, but then you could hit Ross, TJ Maxx, like some of the other stores and get a reasonably priced colorful onesie if you want to go color or print. But typically if you're going plain Jane, you want to go to a larger department store or Amazon and buy them in bulk. Here's something that I want, really want to encourage you to do. Um, if you are thinking about giving a baby shower for somebody with all these people popping up and having babies and <laughs> wedding showers, I'm just going to tell you, getting some stencils and getting product from the Dollar Tree or um, which was this one? Dollar Tree picture frames, onesies, have everybody, and you don't want everybody sitting around looking at everybody. Right. Have, they want to do they something. They want to do something. They want to learn how to do something. Every shower that I've done in the last two and a half or three years, I've all had them doing something. And they had so much fun. You can have them make the gift and then give it to her. Absolutely. So they can bring some onesies. They bring a diaper bag. They bring whatever. Yep. And then they are customizing them and making them to where, that way you turn around and you hand it to them. Yes. So much You're fun, creating I promise. a happy for the oh my mama gosh. to be. Everybody has a great time and it's all personalized. So you can get mm. the alphabet, you can monogram them, you can um, create all these different ones and she's gonna remember the people and what happened while you were there at Absolutely. the shower. So. so we did that, one of the single moms parties that one of the girls was pregnant with twins and somebody made copy and paste mm. on matching onesies cutest darn thing oh my gosh ever. <laughs> so cute copy I just, and paste. If, I just like it if I'm at a shower that I'm doing something I want to do something I want to learn how to do something and it's just a lot more fun people are going to have that much more fun at your house yeah. and you want them to have fun you want Absolutely. there to be really good thoughts okay so now we're going to show you just how different look at all the different projects you can do with this mm -hmm. two-pack um, of these stencils. Look at this. This is one. Hello. Is this? Love it. Is dun, this dun, the dun, best? Dun. And that's so, what my kids call my dad. Grandpa? <laughs> so fun and so easy. This is a Dollar Tree mug. Is yes, it not? absolutely. Dollar Tree mug. Those of you that have Etsy shops, these are great things to be able to sell to. But mm -hmm. they're just so fun and so easy to make. Um, and we're going to talk about ceramic in just a minute. But now here's another one that Michelle made. Look at this. I'm loving this. This was done more of an ombre. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? It's got four colors. My favorite people call me Nana. Nana. I'm a Nana. So, um, but just to be able to have my favorite people call me. So that's one of the other stencils. So you can say on this side, it could say mom, dad, Nana, grandpa. Mm -hmm. So there's grandma. your stencil. You so it's options. just, do you love it? This is what, I just thought it would be so fun. I love it. Just love it. I'm a mamma. And so, um, hi Cindy. So anyway, we wanna be able to show you, and then we're gonna also be working with our onesie because we love to be able to, I love this gray color. I just think we it's do. so cute. Blessed beyond measure. How fun is that? How fun is it that you can have a onesie when people are looking at your cute little baby? says something that it says something powerful that it, it has some there's a meaning people are always going to yes. look and google yes. over a baby yeah and then to be able to have a scripture verse to be able to say something about being blessed always a blessing of course always yes um we've had amy and i have a ton of friends who've struggled with infertility and it's like the mm. lord has been so sweet recently yes, yes. to just open their wombs and yes. so they're yes. feeling that really deep blessing of these beautiful new tiny babies. babies that the Lord has blessed them with. And so blessed with the beyond measure, which it, it has to go it's very on a little appropriate. tiny human body. Very appropriate. <laughs> so um, guys, and guys, let's be honest. I believe, and I guess some people have this more as far as a, um, one of your gifts. 
-hmm. I love giving gifts. Yes. I love giving gifts. She I does. love <laughs> I love what it does to someone. I love that generous spirit. And so it doesn't mean that you have to break the bank and it doesn't have to mean that you have to spend a lot of money. So um, we're showing you continually with a lot of the different holidays coming up and ways that you can do things. This would even be really great for Valentine's gifts. Absolutely. So you can put the Valentine's candy and stuff in here. Chocolate, fill it full of chocolate. Fill it full of chocolate <laughs> would be so cute. All right, so we're gonna turn this camera around because we wanna show you how to create some of these things using this brand new stencil. You, this is one of these two. You, you're gonna want this stencil in your arsenal because it's it really so allows you to do a lot of different adorable projects. Absolutely. All right, so let's turn this down. And um, Michelle's got her onesie. She's gonna be working with ink. And Amy's gonna be working with ceramic paints. Yes. So I went to the Dollar Tree. We got this one where? Ross. Ross, okay. I got a three pack for $5.99, so they're not expensive. That's awesome. It's very good. So, I mean, y'all know about our stencils, but we always tell you they are lightly adhesive. You'll peel them off of their backing, and then you can place them and replace them as many times as you need to to get them exactly where you want them. Now, the other thing that you need to remember, too, when you're working with the ceramic paints, I'm working with ceramic paints. Michelle's going to be working with the inks. So just if you're not familiar, um, the ceramic paints are just intended for plates, uh, anything that's like a a, a ceramic-y baked finish yep. like this. So you can use it on tile. If you want to be able to create uh, decorative tile, mm -hmm. you can use it on... Um, China or ceramic or China porcelain. China porcelain. You can use it on uh, lamps. Yes. Porcelain lamps. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on... Uh, gosh, there's... There's some designs I can't tell you um, <laughs> yet, but would be great on some lamps, and you can use a ceramic paint. Now, this is a no-bake ceramic, but this is what we tell people. If you wanted to cure quickly, so that way you can use it a lot more yep. and it be more durable, then throw even the no-bake in the oven. Yep. Bake it on 325 for 25 or 30 minutes. Let it cool down in the oven, put it in the oven cool, and then bake it. That will cure it faster, even the no-bake. Absolutely. So just, I think we're hard on stuff, and we want to be able to have it to where it's going to be more durable, and the baking will just help with that. It does help. All right, so um, while I get mine ready, why don't you talk to everybody about what you're going to be doing? Okay, friends, so I'm using Gel Art Ink, and Gel Art Ink is our patented screen printing medium. So it basically does the same thing as any screen printing would do. So it's geared for fabric, but you can use it on other surfaces. It just won't be permanent. When you finish using the Gel Art Ink on a fabric, you're going to let it dry two to four hours, and then you're going to heat set it with an iron at about 250 degrees, and you're just going to rub it over for about three to five minutes. We usually put um, a soft towel or um, a tea towel, something over the fabric just to protect the Gel Art from coming off on your hot iron. You don't want that to happen. Um, and we just set that in and then we wash cold and we um, lay flat to dry. If you want to turn it wrong side out, that will be best longevity. And those are just basically the rules with screen printing. <coughs> um, if you want best longevity of a screen printed shirt, it's wash cold. Do you need you this, my rag. friend? I just need um, uh, that rag or tissue or something. That's my dryer. Oh, yeah, because you've got it all over your fingers. Yep. We like to make a mess. I'm actually going to do an ombre on this, Amy. You're doing an ombre of what color? White to gray to navy. Okay. A lot of the thing is, too, that we want y'all to realize, you can experiment and play with it. Absolutely. And it is fun to be able to take things and do them in more of an ombre. I just went from blue to green. And I am working with Smoke Gets in Your Eyes and You're the Water to My Ocean. And I went from blue up to kind of a green color. I just think it makes it a little bit more fun. Can y'all see that? So that's one side of my of my mug. Isn't that fun? So fun. 
Can I use the water really quickly? Absolutely. I, I just love how, I love how that blue and that green are together. Now, let me show you. This is going to stain my stencil a little bit, but I've just got to clean it to make sure it gets out of the mesh. The darker colors of the ceramic paint um, will stain it just a little, but we're not worried about it being on the gray. Absolutely not. Main thing is we just want to make sure that we get it out of the mesh itself. Because we want to be able to use the mesh over and over and over. Yes. All right. So now I've got that clean. I'm just gonna lay this up like this so that way the adhesive side is laying up and it doesn't uh, get into any fibers. I use usually when I'm home, I lay it on my kitchen counter. Me too. And let it dry. Let them dry. All right, friends, I worked from white to gray to blue. Oh, that's cute. And then I meshed them. Kind of like the tigers. Yeah, I mushed them into each other. So now I'm going to peel. Oh, you're key. Ta -da. So cute. Look at that. And I'm just going to set my stencil in the water. Can y'all see that? And clean it up. So, Michelle, tell, I'm holding this up. Tell everybody Absolutely. again what you did. Okay, so I did white through more than half of the word blessed. And then I did gray through the top half of the word beyond and moved it up into the white. And then I did navy at the base of measure and moved it into the gray. And then I got a clean, um, uh, what are they called? Spreader. And I just blended them upwards. Is this so the sweetest? Guys, look at this. Now, I'm just going to tell you, if you went into a baby shop and you purchased this, 25 bucks. Hello. Easy. You're going you're gonna to spend about 25 Easy. or 28 dollars on this. We're talking about, these are probably... Well, you got three for six dollars, so it was two dollars. So we, we've spent two dollars on this, and, and we're able to make mugs and all kinds of you things. Can, this is how much uh, gel art I poured out. You can see how little I actually used. This is your ink. It goes so far. So now when you've got that, you want to allow this to dry for two hours. And then after it's dried for two hours, you want to put a cloth on top of it and then heat set it with your iron um, at about 250 to 300 mm -hmm. degrees. And then just go around on it to where it, for about three or four minutes, then that's going to heat set it. Um, I just, I'll be honest with you, and, and a lot of people don't realize, but you can make the grow grain ribbon, you can use this ink on grow grain ribbon yes, and you, you can. can, you can make, um, you can make a ribbon Yes, that would go that you can one wrap your package mm -hmm. or you can customize a ribbon that would go in the baby's hair. Absolutely. Those little Velcro kind of things. Yes. Those, that is the cutest. And I'm, I hope I didn't mess that up. I have this stuff on my hand. No, I think it's water from the table. I think we're okay. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, let's show everybody. Have you got, let's do the other side. Let's just kind of show them. This is the same stencil guys. This stencil is a two pack. And the versatility of all the different projects that you can do with this is Down really this fabulous. And so this grandpas was the Blessed dads. Beyond Measure. That's what we just did. Do I what? I said grandpas or dads. You want to put dad on the back of this? Grandpa. Uh, oh, okay. wait a minute. She just. <laughs> we had an epiphany. We tried to order some stencils but couldn't get into the site. Huh. Carolyn. Hmm. Marty, are you watching this? We just want to make sure. Make sure you have both S's. A Makers Studio. Double S's. I used to type that wrong all the time. Only one. <laughs> Michelle just said something. We're going to check on that for you, Carolyn, and see. All right. We're going to. Now, here's something that I'd never thought about before. If you have, like, your husband, and maybe you have grandchildren, and maybe he's, he's a grandpa, you could have dad on one side and grandpa on the other. Because he's both. He's both. I love that. And a mom and a nana. We all carry so many titles. Yeah, we do. You know, sister, friend, mom, wife. Why is grandma spelled wrong? It's G-R-A-N-M-A, -A, and it's they're spelled all different ways. Grandpa. Grandma. 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 Yeah. Just say They're it. all spelled grandma. different. 
We know, we know, they can be spelled different. I know, my kids call my dad grandpa, but they spell it grandpa. But they've gotcha. started saying the R when they got older. But they called him Gampo when they were little, and we all hoped it would stick, and it, it didn't. They added the R. They just don't write it. <laughs> all right, so love this. So that way, y'all learned a new technique with this yes. adorable onesie. Now, here's the fun thing. We did kind of the same technique mm -hmm. on Absolutely. the Nana mug. So then that way, you see, when using the ceramic paint, how we've done the ombre again to where we went from light, uh, dark to light. And then can you see, can you see the ombre effect too on the Nana? I'm just gonna tell you guys, these mugs would be $18. Oh, easy. At a store, customized like this. A dollar. So that makes it, and we got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So oh. a lot of fun. Um, all right, so let's just show them really quickly how to do the dad on the back. Okay, all you right. want to hand it to me? It's on your side of the table. Yep. Nope, dad. Oh, the, the stencil. Oh, do you not want to put it on grandpa? Yeah, no, I think okay. that's good. I want you to be able to just see see the detail on the dad. Isn't it's that fun? It's so pretty. And I forgot to tell you, share this video. What do we do? Let's I'm send not. A, let's send it a stencil. Share this video, and your name will go on for a drawing, and I'm going to send this out to a lucky person. Um that will be able to do all kinds of projects. Juanita, is this not the best idea for Mother's Day? Yes, it totally is. And especially those of you who make things to be able to resell for, um, to for the holidays. Way, or do we want to make it go up? Yes, I love that. Is it, um, let's ask them. Okay, friends, do we want it to go up the like mug like we did on Grandpa? This way? Or do we want it to go sideways on the mug? We're waiting for your response with bated breath. I, I love the idea of doing the dad this way, mm -hmm. but I think because that's up and down, I think we need we to need keep to do it up, up and, and down. down. Yeah. And I think it maybe needs to be closer to the handle. You like want to do it this way? Yes, up. I'm with, yes, Juanita thinks up. Different people are saying up. Okay, friends, we're doing it up. And guys, hello, hello. We're not gonna, we're not gonna leave mom out. But I like mom, I like the idea of mom up like this. I'm gonna do this one for me. She's like, for me, cause I'm a mom. Um, well, to be able to, to give away to somebody. Um, I'm just gonna tell y'all, I've, I've gotta find some China cups that I can do this to. So, um, and homage to my mom. Sweet mama. My mom, I know a lot of y'all read the, the um, the tribute that I did to my mom. And my mom literally would have this really pretty lady's handkerchief and she would wrap that, um, she would wrap that china cup in her handkerchief and pull it out of her purse when she was at a place where they could pour her coffee. Oh, really? You didn't read that? No, I missed it. Oh my gosh, I wrote a tribute to my mom, a lot of you know, and you've been so precious that my mom passed away of COVID a week ago, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And we, her funeral was last Wednesday, but I wrote a tribute to her and I shared just stories about her. You'll have to go back and read it. I will. So, um, okay, so I'm basically. I'm gonna, can I have the other artist brush, Amy? Yes, you may. Sorry. Please, my dear. Let me turn Thank this you. down because I want people to be able to see what it is that you're doing. Um, well, you're so sweet too, Michelle. Thank you. So um, I'm going to turn this down because I want you to be able to see what she's doing. But share this video, guys, and your name will go in for the drawing. Um, and also Sharon is caring. So, um, um, and if you didn't watch us last Friday, i got to hurry. I can't let this sit here. No, Hold you on just can't. a second. It'll dry. Hold on. Hold on. Don't start yet. I'm not going to start. Um, I'll behave. Go back. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but... Um, I'm going to get our water moved, too, so that we can use it. I don't it. know about y'all, but going back and listening... Oh, and this cleans out with water. Oh, yeah. Water. Cleans out with water. Um, that... Go back and watch the one from Friday that we did because oh, Kelsey shared her story. Oh, oh, my gosh. You know, yesterday... Or no, maybe it was Saturday. I went back and watched it again, and I wept. And I thought, one... Look at that. Mm. So fun. That, I love that font. A little swirly on the M. It's so mm, feminine. The cool thing about it is too, when these dry, it's, it's kind of raised. Yes, I love it. It feels like a, it feels like it's embossed. The yeah. cup feels like embossed paper. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it doesn't, it doesn't get any cuter than that. 
your island is on my bucket list. I want to go there so bad in this in this COVID. Um, let me see. What a lovely tri tribute to your mom. Yeah, thank you, Amy. Um, you know, it, and, and I didn't mean it. Sorry, Michelle. Um, I didn't mean it. To, I just, I needed to type something. And I literally just, one night I was needing to get some things off my, off my chest, so to speak. And I just typed that up and I sent it to Marty, who does my, our socials. And, um, she posted it. Or gave, you gave her permission. Oh, of course. And it was just, um. Such a great picture of my mom, just of what she was like. So, thank you. But yeah, it. I tell you about how she used to massage my dad's bald head to try to. She and it was so funny. She would say every night, it's like if I'm if I rub his head, his hair's gonna grow back. It never did, but it was still just very sweet that. that she did that. All right, so here we go. Let's go down. All right, friends. So we're working. I have dad on up like we decided and I'm just going to use my artist brush and, and she's using on. the ceramic paint I am I'm using the ceramic paint in white which is called angel's wings and again we always want to work quickly because we don't want it to dry in the stencil um yeah, that's the only bad thing, guys, about the ceramic paint. It's going to dry faster than any of them. It really does. And, and the chalk art, too. If it dries inside of the mesh, it is very hard to save your stencil. So, so you done. don't want like that that's to done. happen. It takes that long, literally. And then she put it right back in the water. Yeah, you I did. Go. I stuck it it's right in the water. That. That's really, really classy that's looking. That's beautiful. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. And that Love detail. It. So yummy. Now, do you want to show them what you did earlier? I'm going to put that in the water. Yeah, yeah, Um, Let's see. Let me get this dry really quick. Guys, as you pop on here, share this video, and your name will go in for a drawing that we're going to give this stencil away. What if a you guys great... haven't noticed, like, Amy and I are on an ombre kick. Yeah, we really are. I just think it's... We really are. We it's, like it. It's fun and easy, and... I it think it adds a whole lot of character. depth to your project. And just working with, you know, even complementary colors like this to where we're blending them. So that's how, that was my first color. Then I blended them together. That was my second color. And then I finished up with that. And it really just made it look really cool. Okay. All and right. then I can put that in my water and wash it out. Absolutely. Mine too. So... We got these tiny little chalkboards at the Dollar Tree, and they're lots of different shapes, and they're just raw wood. So you could paint them, you could watercolor them, you could stain them. There's so many options to make them the color that you want for your decor, or just leave them raw wood. Um, Ooh, I'm, I'm having uh -oh, a vision. She's having ideas. Yeah, we need to water the ink down and, and like wash water this. That's what I was thinking. So you're going to do your chalk art first. I so am. let me show you what Michelle's getting ready to show you. Do you, do. Want, do you want to do that one? Yeah. Here, look. So this is what she's getting ready to do. She's going to show you. It's kind of like what we did on our shirt. Yes. You want to go back and watch this in the beginning. It had some really, you're just going to love the onesie. It's kind of the same concept that we did here. But we're getting ready to do this with the chalk art. So we've used ceramic paint. We've used ink. And now we're getting ready to do the chalk art. Chalk art. So um, I'm going to have two different pieces of my chalk art spreader because I want to work blue one direction and come. I'm doing I reckon on the top, which is our cream. And I just bring them in to meet each other in the middle. But I want a pure color on the base. I don't want that to be muddied. So I work with my pure colors first and work into the middle. And then I'll blend them in the middle. Now, chalk art dries really fast. So you do have to work so quicker. You want to work quickly because you want to be able to blend in the middle. And if you don't work fast enough, it won't blend. It'll just kind of cake. I hate to, can I have that white rag? Can yes. you reach it? Yes. Now 
on the switch and go this way. Blending those. Hey guys, and I'm gonna blend up. Send us some love as you're as you're watching. Send us some hearts. Sprinkle. Say hello. Tell us where you're tuning in from. And then share this video and your name will go in for a drawing. And we are going to send you the winner that we drew. We're going to send you this new stencil. This is one of those stencils that kind of needs to go into your um, DIY small. pantry. Mm -hmm. Because it just really hits home on a lot of different things. All right, friends. There you go. Ta-da! So cute. See how easy? And this green or blue is called Land of Ocean, and it is my favorite. Do you see the difference? We use the exact same color, but do you see the drying difference? So when it dries, it is really, really bright, but it keeps the heavy pigment. It doesn't wash out, which I love. And look at this, what I'm doing over here. I am working with my ink and I'm thinning it down so it kind of looks like watercolor. And this is just a Dollar Tree frame. Absolutely. Look what a difference. I like being able to see the wood underneath. I do too. But that's why I thought staining would be fun and I didn't want a pure color because I don't want to cover it. I love the wood. Yeah. No, I do too. That just the slightest wood grain is beautiful. Do me a flavor. Yes, ma'am. Would you grab some ceruzine wax? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> We're gonna love this. I sure You're will. gonna love this, guys. I Look promise. How prepared I am. So I'm just coming back. I'm blending it. I'm blending it with my just some water. I've got a rag here that I'm just kind of coming back and wiping it like that. So I've got my Here's my gel ink that you can use this on wood. This, this raw wood from the Dollar Tree is very porous. So I'm mixing it with just a little bit of water. So that's what you see this on here. And I've got my water here. So I'm just creating this wash. And putting it on just a little bit at a time. And my, for whatever reason, my finger is going into like a Charlie horse kind of thing. Oh no. Oh, what's... It doesn't want to play. Is this the cutest? So pretty. These are cute to just hang on a door handle. Absolutely. So I, you know, I built my own desk area. And I have lots of very strategic, fun... Areas to put signs. Or 10 by 10s that are encouraging to me or professional or whatever. And, um... I actually have a gift that's very similar to the cards that we've just released and um, that's there and those would be unbelievably amazing and then I've got lots of fun just little that would be a great place to hang it like that would fit okay so now here's our Dollar Tree frame that I stained with the here let's kind of Jell show art. you so we did the chalk art in the center and now we've done the blue on the outside. Now let me show you what I'm gonna do. Is this so fun? So now I'm we gonna- We like to play. Yes, we like to play. So this is ceruzine wax. It's from Amy Howard. Can we show them? Absolutely. This is- So it's a white wax and it's really great. You can um, put it on with a brush. So I'm just gonna load up my brush like this and offload it just a little bit. I don't wanna get it too, too heavy. And then I'm gonna come on top of this with this white wax. So pretty. Just to kind of soften it. Mm -hmm. Can you see the difference? It's beautiful. See the white wax on one side and then the blue on the other? So I'm just gonna... Give it a little bit of character. Yes. I think it softens it just yes. a little bit. It gives it, any time you can do some layering, it gives it a lot of depth, like that. And... Then I'll come back. Look at that. It kind of looks beachy. Very. Very beachy. I'm ready for the beach. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> You're like, I'm ready. My body's not, but um, my mind is. All right, so then I'm just gonna come back and just soften this. Look at that. How cute is that? I love it. Do you love that? 
You guys are going to see that because it's going to get hung behind us. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, now. Y'all, this was a dollar. And we just took the value of that sweet little frame through the roof. Yes. No. So the question is, um, do we need to seal it after this? No. No. The answer is no. That wax is always the last thing that you're going to put on it. And that's the ceruzian wax is available at amyhowardhome.com. Mm -hmm. So um, it's one of our best selling waxes. As this starts to dry, I'm going to come back with a lint free rag and I'm going to buff it just a little bit. And that way it's going to give me a little bit of sheen. But I just love, I love the finish that that gives that. It's so pretty. It's really, really cute. And I would Next probably go level. on and take this. And put in a ribbon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> a totally a cute ribbon. Uh -huh. A little satin ribbon coming through here would just take it to, to the, the next, next level. level. So, so cute. So Love it. Um, all right. So somebody had a question as far as the sponge that you use to clean the brushes. Let's sh I mean the um, stencils. We just have, we buy seawool sponges from Amazon or Walmart, wherever you can find them. And it's a natural sponge and we use it really lightly on the non-adhesive side. You can also wash them with your fingers. I don't have this at home. So at home, I just lay it on my hand and I just rub with my hands and run it under water and then I lay it side up. Susie has a great question. What about sealing the chalkboard? Okay, you need to go get that math sealer. I got it. All right, so the chalk art is what we used on this. These two chalk arts are really good. The whole point of using them on chalk boards is where you can wipe them off and you can reduce them and you can re, um, especially like on larger boards, so you can change it up. But we, um, I don't, do we have cerusian wax on the um, AMS site? I don't know if it's still there or not. I don't know, Cheryl. We used I will to. find I'm out. I'm not sure if we still I'll, do. We'll find out about that. All right, so if you have larger boards that you do the chalk art on like this, and you want to be able to seal it and it be completely matte. It's the new matte sealer. It's the new matte sealer. It's amazing. It really is. But don't put it on with a brush because the brush, the bristles Sponge of brush. the brush will actually take off the chalk art. Or is that going to be too to much too? It's best to roll it. It's best to roll it on with a foam roller. So, um, but that will seal it. Because a lot of people, when they do really beautiful chalkboards and they're large. So like, let me show you this one. So, so that way, if you've done a chalkboard sign and it looks like this and you love it and you don't want it to um, be messed up, you want it to be able to stay permanent and you don't want to wipe it off, then come back with a matte sealer and you can seal it and you won't see any brush marks, you won't see anything and it will be permanent. What I would do is I would put two coats of the matte sealer on and then that way you're good to go. Isn't that gorgeous? So. But even on small ones, um, it's very easy to do. Absolutely. So we've gone over a bunch of stuff today. We have. So be sure and look and see in the link of our brand new virtual workshop. I will tell you, this is faith-based. We're going to be talking about really hard things. Yeah. We're going to be talking about why friendships are so hard for women. And we're going to be crafting, we're going to be making things. You're going to have these beautiful, 10 beautiful cards um, to be able to finish. Now, are you going to get them all that done that night? No, you probably, you don't uh, want to get them all done that night. No, you no, want no, to no, no, extend no. the enjoyment of coloring. Yes. <laughs> so you're going to probably get one done that night, but here's the, here's the joy of it. Turn some music on, um, put this on a clip and you'll be able to work on it for, for weeks. For weeks. Yes. Sweet um, enjoyment. Yes. So, this would be wonderful because you get 10 of these um, in our virtual workshop. So um, so I hope I answered that question. All right, so, and then um, I got in total trouble. You'll be seeing this later on. It's coming. We do have a lot of new stencils coming, but this is one of my favorites. This is one of our transfers. We made this into a stencil and it's gonna be great on furniture. Um, they, on all um, the things. Yes, on all the things. It's gonna be great. We have so many new things coming in February, guys. It's gonna be nuts. You're gonna be you're gonna be like, has Amy slept? No, I don't sleep. No, I'm just kidding. 
I do sleep. sleep. No, you'll say, has sleep Amy lost very, her mind? Amy's lost her mind. Amy's gone rogue. I do that <laughs> all the time. But I just wanted you to see that. We've got lots of fun and up and coming stuff. But the main thing is, one at a time as we go over this, this is one of the um, all round best stencils. You need this. It will make so many darling new gifts. projects. Absolutely. So many bright gifts. Um, it's really, really great. So it's when you, there's so many different projects that you can do with it, it makes it a big value. So don't and forget to share. You saw what we did. You want to show them that one more time? Remember? Sharing is caring. So you want to be able to show that way. So Look how we thinned the pretty. ink. Did you think on these Dollar Tree things that you get that all you have to do is thin, thin the, the ink. ink down and do a wash like that? Mm -hmm. How cute is it? So um, we're so glad you tuned in today. So that way you could see how to be able to create a new finish and then just pop the surgeon wax over. Share this video, guys. Sharing is caring and your name will go in for a drawing because we're going to be giving this away. All right. Thank you so much, Susie. That means so much to us. Guys, I, I want you to know our heart. We're not perfect by any means, but we, we love Jesus and we love experiencing God. And we love the fact that we have a business that we can share our faith mm -hmm. and we can share our failures and we can share our hurts and our pains and then feel the tribe that we have. Um, and so, um, do you wash with ceramic ink? Can you do, do a, a wash, wash with, with ceramic, ceramic ink? ink? I don't know. I do know this, we'll try that to you can thin out. it down. I have taken that and I have thinned it down and done washes on our um, ceramic. So you kind of can. It's yeah. not quite the same we as using the ink on the, on the wood. Base. Yes, we did. Yes, we so did. So we did water it down. Oh, I'll show you. It's right here. We did water it down to do this glass vase so that it was more translucent, so you could actually still see through the glass and to blend. We did. So see, we just did it in the black. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And then literally it was like um, watercolor, Absolutely. just thinning it down yep. and creating that. So you can, it's not gonna be probably as much as the ink, um, but it Oops. it really, really is kind of cool. So <laughs> we love being able hard. to share with you the diversity. <laughs> So, um, but thank y'all. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for, we're just a small business that um, wants to make an impact on the world and be creative and support our tribe of beautiful women that want to be able to um, make beautiful things mm -hmm. to bless their friends and, um, and, and just enjoy making. You were, you were created to make things. That's why we all get it. I do want to put this in just as a word. Um, we have over 520 women yeah. enrolled on our Facebook page for our Proverbs 31 group. That's awesome! And we are, we'll be meeting tomorrow night, every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are doing the Experiencing God study. It just started last week, so you're not too late. You can order the workbook, the workbook on Amazon and join us. Even if you don't have it this week, I promise you'll be blessed. It's a beautiful community of women that want to know more about God. Uh -huh. They want to experience God. They want Him alive and living and breathing in their life. They want to hear Him. So we're cleaning out the wax in our ears. And we're seeing how it is that we can be in the middle of His will and uh -huh. join God where He's working. Uh -huh. Have a great day, everybody. We love you. Bye, sweet friends.